Absolutely love riding through a forest like this. Like the air is so fresh here. Trees give you shade from the sun and it's a beautiful forest. So and the best thing is these small forest roads without pavement. Oh you gotta love it. And the sound your wheel is making when you're cycling here. I don't know if it's just me but it Look at this path. Now I'm going up like some crazy steep mountain path. There's just no way I can do this while being on a bike. It's just there's too much weight on the bike and and I have to push up this heavy bike the whole way. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm so glad I took a mountain bike for backpacking because like this crazy path here through the German forest wilderness here I think a normal bike would have immense troubles getting through here I made it to Sigmaringen, which is my stop for today. And look at this bridge, and look at this river. It's like, it's the Donau. <laughs> I hope that's how you pronounce it in English. But in German it's Donau, and it's the big river that flows through Europe. But here it is still pretty small. And yeah, right there you can see the castle of Sigmaringen, which I will be exploring tomorrow but today I'm couch surfing and so I have to find the location of my house. <laughs> so my really funny <laughs> couch surfing family just treated me to the best dinner ever and <laughs> look at this. They even got a pet chicken. How funny is that? <laughs> This is power. <laughs> so that was my first couch surfing experience and it was so nice. And I'm looking forward to doing it in the future numerous times. And because it's like so nice, it's such a nice time of traveling. You meet like the local people and you get to talk with them and cook dinner together and yeah it's so nice it's like way nicer than to stay in a hotel and now I'm continue, continuing my journey and today I'm heading to Konstanz which is another German town but it's exactly at the border of Switzerland so I'm gonna go to Switzerland finally Thank you. 
this is the border between Germany and Switzerland. It's like the least spectacular border I've ever seen, so yeah, nothing special, but now I'm officially in Switzerland, which is awesome. So it's the next morning and look at this breakfast. Morning, good morning. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> and me and my host are actually cycling together. Like, how much case? Yeah, we uh, uh, bike to the border. Yeah, to Austria. Yeah, we bike together there, and then I'm gonna go to Liechtenstein, and he's gonna continue into Austria, and yeah. It's gonna be nice. <laughs> So this is the border to Austria and we are crossing it because we are gonna stay a couple of hours in Austria. <laughs> After that I will continue my way to Liechtenstein. Just look at this view. This is like one of the most amazing bike rides I ever took. Over there is Switzerland, over here is Austria and this is the Rhine, the river Rhine. It's basically the border between Switzerland and Austria. And now look at these mountains. This is like the real Switzerland and the real Alpen. And but it's so still so pleasant to ride here because as you can see it's like basically flat here and it's gonna be flat all the way to Liechtenstein. And soon I'm gonna arrive. I'm so excited to visit that small country.
So I finally arrived in the Principality of Liechtenstein and this is Vaduz, the capital of this tiny, tiny country. And this is the castle of the Principal of Liechtenstein, in which he still lives up today. Liechtenstein is actually the world's sixth smallest country, which is kind of amazing to visit because it's so small. It's like the whole country has like 30, a little, I think over 30,000 inhabitants. So that's like one third of my hometown in Germany. Crazy, crazy tiny country. But now I'm gonna head again on the Swiss side over the river because my couchsurfing host for today is living in a small village over there. So yeah, looking forward to that. So this is my couchsurfing host of today, Maya. And she's right now showing me around in her town. What's it called again? Wertenberg. Huh? Wertenberg. No, your town. Here. Buchs. <laughs> Buchs, yeah. And it's like a really beautiful <laughs> town with an old part, like an old town. And it also has like a castle. So thank you so much for showing me around. You're welcome.